Hello everyone, today we're looking at one of these. This is the DCS version of the Motorola Flare. I say it's DCS because this used to operate on Mercury 1 to 1, which you guys probably all know by now was uh, a UK cellular provider which operated on GSM 1800. However, these can still be used because they are GSM, so when I took a, take a look inside one of these, this is what you got when you bought one of these in terms of a box. Uh, Motorola DCS 1800. It is just a flare. These are the, the most basic of um, of Teletax uh, for for the GSM world. Basically, uh, the Americans had other Teletax, um, which actually I don't have one to hand to show you. Um, but uh, uh, Europe and everywhere outside of, uh, of of Americas, where where GSM was available, had had these um, these and they they made these um, these flares for the GSM 900. Um, or the GSM 1800 or DCS as it was known back then and this is the GSM 1800 so let's take a look inside then um, so you got um, a bit of paper which we don't need you got the express exchange pamphlet which uh, just gives you a list of all the um, the express exchange centers um, I think this is quite an early phone because in my other video the express exchange centers in the UK uh, the pamphlet was actually quite a lot larger than this and it had probably in excess of a hundred listed this has only got uh, six seven for fifteen give or take plus another so this probably only has about 45 50 maybe so the other one had a lot more so I'm guessing this is a really early one um, you got a bit of cardboard which um, we don't need you got a one-to-one -one pamphlet satisfaction guarantee these guys were real good on customer satisfaction back then um, but uh, not much else uh, and of course you got the manual unfortunately I don't have the manual in this box um, I don't actually know what happened to it um, I got a funny feeling that I either borrowed it and never returned it to the box or when I bought this phone I just never looked inside and made a note there was no manual but there was obviously a manual included um, so you, this is what the box looks like um, now interestingly you didn't get the leather case or the car charger um, but it's included in here so let's take a look then you got the phone and this has the original sim card on it um, note the number is 0958 uh, nowadays all cell phone numbers in the UK start with 07 so this is pre God, I don't even know when the when the when the numbers changed. The pre, the dialing codes changed, but it was a long time ago. Um, it was just to increase capacity, basically. Um, and we got what looks like the original. Is this the original? No, this is a nickel metal hydride. Actually, this would be the original then. This would be the original NiCad battery. Um, it's got a bit of uh, verdigris green down there, which is probably uh, not great if you want to use this, but. It's there anyway for completeness. Uh, and then whoever owned this before before me obviously bought themselves a nickel metal hydride because uh, they knew that uh, the NICADs didn't hold charge too long. You got the um, the original charger. This one, the cord ain't too great on it. Um, most of these chargers you'll find nowadays they all they all um, the, the the black just rots away unfortunately. It's just the way it is. It's just the plastic they used um, was bendy, but not hard enough. Uh, not not hard. So so it was bendy enough to, to to how do you say to bend the cord, but not hard enough to obviously withstand continual bending. So with time, these corrode. Um, but they still work. I mean, I use a couple of these, and the, the 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 most of the black cords actually corroded. You can see the individual wires. So as long as the wires ain't damaged, you're good to go. So, um, but this is a three pin, of course, not the one where you can actually take the three pin off. This is not the Euro Traveler charger. This is just a regular, um, and um, you that, that plugs straight into the phone. So I'm going to do that in a second. Uh, the car charger I've also got uh, useful to have because they don't make these anymore with these. These are not for the StarTac these are just for the microtac the startac actually has a different um, a different connector on it so but don't 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 uh, don't confuse the two of course you got the leather case um, and what's this you got a total customer satisfaction little card or something so anyway um, don't need the charger I'm gonna fire this phone up um, clear this mess up a little bit um, so we need a battery happen to have one just here um, slot this guy in let's see what it does so, um, not sure who Broner is, whoever the, the previous owner is, obviously. Um, I'm going to try and... I don't actually have any, any, any Mercury 1-to-1 SIM cards uh, that are actually got service on them, purely because 
uh, uh, T-Mobile or Mercury One to One SIM cards nowadays are so rare because they merged with Orange and formed T, formed EE, and and now all you can buy is EE SIM cards, which obviously isn't the same as the the original. But uh, so I'm going to try an O2. Um, I think this phone is actually locked, uh, unlocked before I got it. Uh, so either that or these flares are so old that they never used to be locked to a particular provider. In this case, that would be Mercury One to One. It says searching. I'm not sure this is going to find anything. Um, maybe O2 has some GSM 1800 capacity here. I'm not too sure, but if it does, that would be great. Uh, might take a while. Um, but um, the, 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 the good thing about these is these were real basic at the time. I actually had a GSM 900 version of this, um, and they do these in a plethora of colors. Uh, I mean, these are, these are available in, in I don't know how many different colors, um, but certainly I've got uh, an orange one, I've got a green one, I've got um, a yellow one, I've got like a mauve sort of color, I've got a brown one, which I did a video about about a month ago. Uh, and that was GSM as well. Um, and all the flares are GSM. I'm not too sure why this ain't picking up service. Um, I guess maybe... Oh no, it's not picking up service. Okay, well, never mind. Um, in that case, let me try and just sift through the menu. Uh, so you got menu options, call related features, messages, phone setup, network selection, call meters, and that's pretty much your lot. Uh, call related features, this is fairly basic. Um, restrict my phone number, call diverting, call waiting, show battery meter. Always good that. Um, you didn't get a standard um, battery meter display at the top. These are real basic. And some of you guys might recognize the menu structure of this um, off the really early StarTac phones, actually. Some of the early StarTac phones with the LCD displays like this had the very same menu as this. Um, the, the sort of uh, mid, mid 90s StarTacs, when they first came out, uh, they had these kinds of, uh, the, the, these kind of displays. Just the, a little, a little battery um, emblem there and a, and a service. Obviously, the service level meter is there, but the battery level meter was never included um, as standard. They literally just had the, uh, the battery emblem. And when that started flashing, you knew your battery was weak. Um, and that was it. You, you didn't know. So you had to go into the menu to, to check your battery. Received messages, no messages. Um, what else? This didn't obviously wasn't able to send messages. Certainly, it doesn't look like it because the menu's not got the option for it. Um, which is bizarre. I thought these did. Um, it could be that you had to actually subscribe to it. Uh, I'm not too sure. Maybe it was enabled on the SIM. Uh, phone setup. Always a good one. Select phone line. Adjust ring volume. Ringer on or off. Uh, set ringer tone. That's always a good one. I don't actually know which one of these is the most annoying. They all seem to be really annoying. Why would you have that as a ringtone? Or that? I mean, that's just horrible, isn't it? But, I mean, back in the day, this was state-of-the-art, and people just thought, it is just a ringtone, it is there just to alert me to a call, uh, and that's that. Uh, network selection, always interesting. Let's see if this picks up any service. Pull out the antenna. Real short antenna, this GSM 1800. The GSM 900s had slightly longer antennas, and this is actually a metal antenna. Unlike a lot of the Microtax, which have flimsy plastic antennas, this actually does make a difference because this is, um, I've actually cut one of these apart, and it does have metal in them. The uh, the, the normal long um, DPC 550 antennas, um, well, I, I, cut one, I, I cut one open many years ago, and that was just plastic. Um, someone on here seems to think that it does make a difference. I don't know how. I don't understand how it would, but maybe maybe there is something to it we don't know about. Um, so it's still scanning. Got a couple of volume buttons on the side as well. Um, Felt to mention that. Um, and uh, and obviously it takes the full size SIM. Now these can still be used today. Like I said, uh, don't be fooled uh, that this one doesn't pick up service. It should do. I'm not too sure if O2 doesn't have a GSM uh, cell tower in the area. Um, obviously. Um, I could actually try, I'm not too sure if I've got an orange SIM here actually, um, let me see if I can put 
a different SIM card in there. Um, I just went out and got these earlier, uh, just as a as a test SIM. Got a, a Leica SIM card. Um, they were giving these out free at the store, so I thought, heck, why not? So um, I'm not too sure what Leica operates on in the UK, whether it's GSM 900 or 1800. But this is their latest offering, uh, and this is not doing much, I guess. Uh, let me cancel that. So let's go through some more menus then. So car meters, show call timers, always a good one. Last call zero, okay. Total for all calls, 22 hours, 8 minutes and 38 seconds. That's actually not a lot. Um, that really isn't a lot and you can't, re oh, you can reset them. I thought this asked for the security code. So what does that say now? Zero. Okay, well, it's just been reset. Maybe it was reset, because 22 hours ain't that much. I mean, I do that on a cell phone in a month, I reckon. Um, so, and this is quite a quite an old phone. But that's pretty much the menu on these. Um, uh, let me try. Let me try and get a another SIM in there. I want this to pick up service. It'd be real neat if I could actually get service on this. Um, the, these do still work. I know these do work because I've got another one um, here, but um, I, I can't show you this one because this is a friend's. Um, and uh, he wouldn't be too happy if I showed you his phone number. So, um, but uh, I, I got a couple of these. I got I got probably five or six of them, but somewhere in storage anyway. Um, so I'm not too sure why this isn't picking up service, but um, I'm going to stop that. Um, and you got a nifty little information button there as well. Um, actually, let, let me show you the um, phone book real quick. So you got a, a dedicated button for the phone book. Uh, and you just navigate it, obviously, left and right. Personal numbers, find entry by name, find entry by location, and entry check capacity. How many? Oh, busy. Try later. Um, always interesting to see how many um, phones and names and numbers this uh, this phone can can uh, can store. Now, nowadays, we take things for granted, obviously. Um, but uh, you know, modern phones can store I don't know thousands of numbers. Back in those days, you only had a, a set amount of uh, slots in your in your phone in your SIM. And if you had more than 148 friends, in in this case, um, you were snookered because this phone only takes about 148 unused locations, uh, unless there is something already in here. Find by name. Let's see if there is anything. Oh, there is. So, help Des. Oh, I'm not too sure what all these are. These are obviously the previous previous persons. Um, store numbers, voicemail, check balance, help desk, CO number. So these are just the basic ones. Um, in fact, I'm not even sure if actually that is on the SIM. Um, but, uh, but anyway, it's still searching. I'm not too sure why. Um, but we'll leave it at that. Uh, real quick video about this. Um, I do actually have a few of these and I've been getting a lot of requests for, for people actually me trying to hook up phones. So um, I'm going to try and do a video about uh, some of the phones I'm going to let go. Uh, I, I'm going to try and either do a competition or just start selling a few phones because I have a lot of phones where I have probably got like 20 of the same thing or 15 of the same exact same model. And I don't need that many, you know, I really don't. So I know a lot of people have been asking, where do I get this phone? Where do I get that phone? You just got to look. I've been collecting for for over 20 years now. And, you know, it's just you got to push and you got to look at the car boot sales and, you know, secondhand websites and all that sort of place. So but anyway, um, give me a thumbs up if you like the fun of the video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.